Hey guys, let's get straight to the point. This video is not sponsored by KNF Concept. We actually bought the filter because we were looking for a mist filter for our lenses. And we want to try something different from the Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter that we have been using all the time in the past. And we always use the one quarter strength because we think that the one eighth is actually too subtle for our projects. And we also got the one fourth strength of the black diffusion filter from KNF Concept. You are actually looking at it right now. We got the magnetic version of this filter, which is kind of not that good because the magnet of the filter is way too weak. It comes with a magnetic ring that you can adapt or screw onto your lens. And then the filter has a magnet that sticks onto the filter ring. And it comes with a metal magnetic cap that goes onto the filter. All the magnets are way too weak just to hold onto the filter or hold onto the cap without like it dropping. So if you get this version, I hope that it is just our copy, but I don't know if the magnet is weak throughout all the all the um, production models that they have on the market, then this is not good at all because by a little bump, your filter will just drop onto the floor and shatter. So don't get the magnetic version. If you can find the version that can just screw onto your filter, get that one instead. I know it's more convenient to use the magnetic version because you can just put it on and off very easily. I don't know why I need that. I always keep my diffusion filter on my lens anyway. So if you can find the one that screws onto the lens, get the ones that screws onto the lens. Don't get the magnetic version, at least not now. The second thing I want you guys to know is that it doesn't come with any uh, filter thread on the filter itself, so you cannot stack filters. You cannot put ND filters, you cannot put any other polarizer or any other filters on top of this filter, which is a bummer because when we film or when we uh, film videos outside, we always need to put on ND filters. So this is not that great in terms of that. We have to use a fixed ND filter behind this diffusion filter in order for it to work. So no filter thread and the magnets are way too weak. So those are the really important things that I want you guys to know before you decide to get this magnetic version. So now let's jump straight into the computer and take a look at the footage. By the way, the diffusion part of this filter is really good. So just to give you a heads up, it's super, super good. We're comparing it to the Tiffin Black Room Mist filter that we have. They are both one quarter strength. I know the numbers don't mean anything because different companies use different standards. So let's take a look at the actual footage. Okay, so the first image that you are looking at is actually without any filter on the Sony a7 IV recording at 4K 10 bit 422 without any color grading. I just color corrected using the video color checker passport as you can see on the screen. I correct all the colors because I want to show you guys as a reference to see if there's any color casting using the filters. So this is without any filters. Pretty sharp. Pretty nice. All the colors are accurate as you can see on the vector scope. The second image that you're going to look at is with the Tiffin Black Pro Mist one quarter strength filter on our Sony a7 IV. Same camera, same lens, same settings, nothing has changed. As you can see, it's a lot bloomier already with the highlights at the back. That's the sun and I have a key light in front of the color checker. Everything is kind of a little bit washed up, but as you know, Tiffin Black Pro Mist filters are really good for keeping contrast and the blacks are going to stay black. Besides the halation or the blooming, blooming effect that you see, let's take a look and see compared to the reference, which is the stock one, if there's any color shifting. To me, it seems like it's a little bit towards the green side by comparing these two images. So this is without filter. Let me use the keyboard. So this is without filter. This is with the black pro mist. I think it has a green kind of hue, really, really little. I did not correct this color on this um, image right here with the Tiffin black pro mist. So a little bit green. Let's take a look at the KNF Concept. This is the KNF Concept one quarter strength filter. As you can see, the blooming effect is stronger. So this is definitely stronger than the Tiffin Black Pro Mist, probably because the Black Pro Mist was trying to keep the contrast and the KNF Concept, it's not uh, keeping the contrast as high. 
So if you want a more dreamy effect, go for the KNF contact because it's going to be, there's going to be more halation as you can see here. In terms of colors, I think the KNF concept, it's a little magenta compared to the tip and black room mist. It's just a little magenta compared to the original image, which is great. Not a lot of color shifting with both filters, so they're both good. But KNF concept, a little bit magenta, which is pretty easy to correct in post. The next image you're going to see is with a couple of props on the screen right now with a color checker in the uh, background, just to show you that how it looks with and without the filters. This is without the filter. Again, same settings, nothing has changed. The camera was on the tripod. The next image is the Tiffin Blackburn Mist. As you can see, a little bloomier, not as much, probably uh, some halation from the key light on the right hand side, like right here at 45 degrees. The next one is KNF Concept. Again, a lot bloomier if you focus on the highlights in the background right here. That's the sun. This is Tiffin Black Pro Mist. This is KNF Concept. And this is without any filter. The image is going to be a lot sharper without any filters. So this is with the Tiffin Black Pro Mist. KNF concept even softer. So that's why I like using diffusion filter because the digital images coming out of modern day cameras, especially the a7 IV, down sampling from 7K to 4K, it's just too sharp. I'm filming at 1080p. I think I'm going to start filming at 1080p and I'm going to make a video about it because it looks much more like a film video instead of a digital video. I'll talk about that in the next video. The next image you're going to see is me turning on the back light right here. This is a small light panel that I have and I have it set to pink and you can take a look at the effect. This is without any filter. With no filters, you can actually see pretty much all the LED dots right there. It looks pretty nice, super sharp, but I just don't like the sharpness and I kind of like the blooming effect by using the filters. So the next one again is the Tiffin. The halation coming out of the LED light panel is much nicer to me. Um, the bouquet, it, I know it's not like super big bouquet that you're looking at. It's just LED dots, but it looks bigger already. So this is without, this is with. Everything is a lot softer. You can see the highlight roll off of the pink light shining onto the X100V is much softer than this. This is a lot harsher. Original image, Tiffin Black Room Miss. KNF Concept, super bloomy. As I said before, I felt like this is a lot bloomier than the Tiffin Black Room Miss already before. I have a direct light shining into the lens. So with this, you can actually confirm that the halation coming out of the one quarter strength KNF Concept Diffusion Filter, it's much bloomier than the one quarter strength of the Tiffin Black Pro Mist. So I would say this is almost like half, one half strength of the Black Pro Mist, but I don't have that to compare. Maybe it's between, but this is much bloomier. So if you want something more dreamy, then go for the KNF Concept, but just don't get the magnetic version. Oh, you can do the same thing that I did. I super glue the filter onto the adapter ring. So that's how I did it. Here, I think I like the KNF concept even more because I really, really don't like the digital sharpness of newer sensors. The 33 megapixel sensor on the a 74 it's really good if you want super sharp image, but I really don't like that clinically sharp image coming out of this the camera straight away. So that's why I'm using diffusion filters. Now I'm going to show you some footage that I record using the KNF Concept diffusion filter. I was in downtown Vancouver and I recorded some street traffic and with some direct sunlight or with uh, people backlit by the sun. So you can see why I want to use this filter. And I'm going to color grade it and color grade it the way that I like the image to look and I always like having this like vintage film look that's why I use diffusion filter it gives us that vintage dreamy kind of artifacts that you you can actually do it in post but it's going to take a long 
time to do that and it's gonna be much more work. So enjoy the footage and let us know what you think in the comment section below. That's it, I just wanna quickly talk about this KNF Concept Diffusion Filter. It's really good for us because of the diffusion effect, but we don't like the magnet. We don't like the magnetic concept and um, hopefully they can improve the strength of the magnet in the future. If not, then just get the screw on version. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. What? <laughs>